Hello. Welcome to the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, affectionately known as SEAS. My name is Julie Holbrook, and I oversee graduate admissions at SEAS. Today I'm here to tell you a bit about our school, our PhD degrees, and the PhD application process. We offer the PhD degree in four areas, applied mathematics, applied physics, computer science, and engineering sciences. Within engineering sciences, there are four subfields, bioengineering, electrical engineering, environmental science and engineering, and material science and mechanical engineering. For those students interested in material science, they should explore both applied physics and engineering sciences and decide for themselves which degree is most interesting and relevant to their interests. The average time to degree for the PhD is between five to six years. This varies by area somewhat. Students who are conducting long-term experiments may be here longer than others, for example. But all CS PhD students can expect to be here for about five and a half years. All PhD students in CS are required to take 10 courses, complete a qualifying exam, and defend their thesis. The coursework is generally completed by the third year, with most of the courses being taken in years one and two. The qualifying exam happens in the second year, and the thesis defense happens at the conclusion of the program. All PhD students are also expected to serve as a teaching fellow, which is Harvard's phrase for teaching assistant in their second year. This is a one semester commitment of about 10 to 12 hours a week. There's a fair amount of flexibility in selecting the course in which a student wishes to TF. Some students pick a course taught by their advisor, and others may TF in a course that they took and really enjoyed in their first year. All PhD students are fully funded as long as they remain in good academic standing and making progress toward the degree. Financial support takes many forms, including the CS Fellowship, external fellowships such as something from the NSF or NDSEG, teaching fellowships, and research assistantships. CS is growing and expanding, and it's an exciting time to be here. CS is currently located on Harvard's historic campus in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Harvard Square is in the foreground of this picture, and the buildings CS currently occupies are behind the square. In fall of 2020, about half of the school will be moving up to Alston, a neighborhood just across the Charles River. You'll see the current CS buildings at the top of this graphic, and our new building in Alston at the bottom of the graphic. Historic Harvard Yard is in the middle. For PhD students entering in fall of 2019, you'll be here for the move into the new building, which is called the Science and Engineering Complex. If your advisor is moving, you will likely help your lab move from one side of the river to the other. The Science and Engineering Complex will be one of the most state-of-the-art facilities for science and engineering teaching and research anywhere. It will be located across the street from Harvard's iLab, which is the university's hub for student entrepreneurship. In addition to faculty labs and offices, the SEC will also include dedicated active learning labs, makerspace, club space, and flexible classrooms. About half of CES will move to Alston, and the others will remain on our Cambridge campus. Generally speaking, faculty and graduate students in applied math, applied physics, and environmental science and engineering will remain in Cambridge. Faculty and graduate students in bioengineering, computer science, electrical engineering will relocate to Alston. Faculty and graduate students in mechanical engineering and material science will be split between both campuses depending on the type of research being conducted in the labs. After the move, CS will occupy buildings on both sides of the Charles River. Shuttle service will be available between both campuses, and it's a reasonable walk for those of you who count your steps. We'll move on to the application itself. The application is now available on the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences website and is due on December 15, 2018. The application shuts down that day, so don't delay in submitting it. Submit it as early as you can. Out of fairness to other applicants, we do not accept late applications. The application includes the application form and fee, your statement of purpose, the C supplemental form, three letters of recommendation, official TOEFL or IELTS scores if needed, and copies of all undergraduate and graduate transcripts. We'll talk about these pieces in more detail in just a moment. The best piece of advice we can offer you is to use the application to show us that you've done your homework about C's. We need to know that there's a good match of research interests between you and our faculty. A great place to start is the faculty research page on the CS website, linked here. Be specific in your statement of purpose. Keep it to about two pages. Talk about your personal research interests and goals, and identify CS labs that you might be interested in working in. 
You will be asked to identify three faculty members in whose work you are interested on the application form. Choose carefully and make sure you identify CS faculty members. These faculty are the people who will see your application first. Keep in mind that the faculty are reading hundreds of applications, and it's important that we get yours in front of the right faculty members. You'll also be asked to rank order three research area of interest on the CS supplemental application. This is part of the application form. Your rankings will again help us ensure that your application is reviewed by the most appropriate faculty members. We require three letters of recommendation. The letter writer should be able to speak in great detail about your preparation for research, your creativity, and your skill set. At least two of the three letters should be from academics. Additional letters are usually not that helpful. We advise asking for letters at least two months in advance of the application deadline. Keep in mind that lots of students are asking your letter writers for letters at this time of year. Starting this year, the general GRE is optional for applicants to our PhD program. Note that it is still required for applicants to our terminal master's programs. The GRE subject test is optional for all applicants. PhD applicants are welcome to submit a GRE score if they wish, but applicants will not be at a disadvantage if they choose not to. The TOEFL or IELTS is required for any student who does not have an undergraduate or equivalent degree from a school where English is the language of instruction. Note that a master's degree does not meet this requirement. We recommend taking the TOEFL or IELTS no later than October of 2018 to allow time for your score report to be sent to us. We do not have a required minimum GPA or GRE score. The required minimum TOEFL score is 80, and the required minimum score on the IELTS is 6.5. Again, be sure to submit your application on, or hopefully before, December 15th of 2018. What happens after you submit your application? We spend the months of late December, January, and early February reviewing applications. Admissions decisions are usually finalized in mid-February, and at that time, the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences will send out official admissions decisions. Admitted students have until April 15th to accept our offer of admission. This is a standard date across most U.S. graduate programs. Still have more questions? There's lots of information on our website please visit the academic slash graduate programs page on the C site to learn more about our degree requirements. For information about the application process, you can visit the prospective graduate pages on the C's website or the admissions pages on the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences website. Thank you for your interest in C's. Best of luck with the application process.